Throughout the past 200,000 years, Earth and our way of life have evolved significantly. Despite the vastness of the universe's 13.7 billion year existence, humans have only been around for a tiny fraction of that time, a mere 0.0015%. Yet in this relatively short span, we've accomplished remarkable feats. Starting from our origins in Africa, where we hunted and gathered for survival, humanity has spread across the entire globe. This expansion, considering the cosmic timeline, happened astonishingly quickly. Thanks to the brilliance of individuals throughout history, modern civilization has surged forward, achieving what was once deemed impossible. Over the last 150 years alone, we've witnessed monumental advancements. From being firmly rooted to Earth's soil, we've transcended to landing on the moon, Earth's closest celestial companion. The journey of humanity from humble beginnings to cosmic exploration is a testament to our capacity for innovation and progress. Humanity's achievements are indeed impressive, yet when viewed in the grand scheme of the universe, we might seem rather small. Imagine encountering an alien species with technology far beyond our wildest dreams, what would that mean for us? Back in 1964, a Soviet astronomer named Nikolai Kardashev introduced a fascinating concept, the Kardashev scale. This scale offers a way to gauge a civilization's technological advancement based on its energy production. The scale consists of three main types, but since its inception, numerous extensions and variations have been proposed. What's intriguing is that it's logarithmic, meaning that as we move up the scale, the amount of power a civilization harnesses grows exponentially larger. Back in 1964, Kardashev laid out the foundation for understanding civilizations based on their energy capabilities. Let's break it down. Type 1, the first level, is like a planetary civilization. Think of it as Earth's club. These civilizations harness all the energy coming from their host star, like our sun. In our case, that's a whopping 7x10 circumflex 17 watts of power. Now, while Earth is somewhat similar to a Type 1 civilization, we don't fit perfectly into this category. Our modern civilization has its own unique twists and turns. Ah yes, we humans may feel a bit inadequate compared to those advanced civilizations, even the lowest tier ones. Instead of snugly fitting into a type 1 civilization, we fall into one of the extended types, specifically, type 0.0. Back when this scale was introduced, the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan came up with a formula to calculate a hypothetical civilization's Kardashev rating. Here's the formula. K represents the civilization's rating, while P stands for the power it uses in watts. A proposed Type 0 civilization would control around 1 megawatt, or 1 million watts, a mere drop in the cosmic bucket compared to our daily power consumption. Just in 2015, the world gobbled up a staggering 17.35 terawatts of energy. That's a massive amount, no doubt about it. Now crunching the numbers and plugging that hefty figure into our Kardashev formula, our civilization clocks in at approximately a Type 0.72. Yes, 0.72. Even with our bustling population of 7 billion souls, a dozen of whom have even visited the moon. Despite our impressive feats like hurling spacecraft billions of miles into the dark abyss of interstellar space and making plans to settle on Mars, our score is still a meager 0.72. It's like having a fancy car but only managing to pull off a mediocre stunt. As per Carl Sagan, humanity is in its technical teenage years, a common phase for a civilization on the brink of reaching Type 1 on the Kardashev scale. Michio Kaku, a brilliant theoretical physicist, paints a picture of our future. He predicts we could hit Type 1 status in the next 100, 200 years, reach Type 2 in a few thousand years, and possibly achieve Type 3 in 100,000, 1 million years. This illustrates the vast timeframes involved in advancing to the next tier of civilization. But here's the exciting part. We're on track to evolve into a Type 1 civilization within the next few hundred years. This marks a monumental leap for humanity. As a Type 1 civilization, we'd wield total mastery over our planet. Picture this. We could tinker with the weather, tweak the geological features of Earth, and unlock countless other possibilities. But here's the kicker. Even with all that power, we'd still be small fry compared to a Type 2 civilization. Yep, Type 2. A Type 2 civilization, often called a stellar civilization, takes things up a notch. They have the ability to commandeer the entire energy output of their host star and distribute it throughout their entire solar system. Now here's where it gets interesting. Ever heard of Dyson structures? 
These are popular in science fiction, and are one of the proposed ways a Type II civilization could harness the immense energy of their star. So, here's the scoop. Freeman Dyson coined the term. And it's basically a setup of solar power satellites orbiting around. Picture this. A colossal, hollow sphere encircling a civilization's host star, siphoning off every ounce of its energy. Now, if you're intrigued, there's this awesome video by Zephyrus diving into this concept. Seriously, give it a watch. I'll drop the link in the description for you. Now back to the good stuff. Another wild idea for a Type II civilization to snag energy involves feeding a stellar mass, like a star, into a nearby black hole and scooping up the photons from the resulting accretion disk. How exactly a civilization might pull off this cosmic maneuver is beyond me. But hey, it's a potential energy source, right? Now, picture this. A Type II civilization not only constructs these colossal structures but also lords over them, making them their homes. Within their domain they'd reign supreme over every planet in their solar system, casually mining asteroids and pretty much calling all the shots in their cosmic backyard. Now brace yourself because as mind-blowing as that sounds, it's nothing compared to a Type 3 civilization. Yep, Type 3, also known as a galactic civilization. This civilization isn't just playing around in a single solar system, they're calling the shots across the entire galaxy. The power they wield is beyond belief. It's the stuff of science fiction, but hey, let's dive into it anyway. Picture this. A Type 3 civilization operates much like a Type 2 civilization, but on a cosmic scale. They're not just dabbling with one star, they're managing billions of them. Think of planets and asteroids as their building blocks, and they're constructing and reconstructing entire solar systems like it's a game of cosmic Legos. The galaxy becomes their sprawling playground, where everything, from planets to stars, is at their disposal. It's like they're playing with toys but on a galactic level. And let's talk about hitting the jackpot, harnessing the energy of quasars would be a dream come true for them. As if that's not mind-blowing enough, they'd even tap into the supermassive black hole at the heart of their galaxy as a source of energy. Now that's some serious power play. Imagine a scenario where galactic real estate becomes a thing. Planets, stars, and even entire solar systems could be up for grabs, all auctioned off by some supreme ruler but here's the twist. In this hypothetical galaxy, you might not even notice it's there. Why? Because if such a civilization existed, they'd be harnessing all the energy from the stars for their own needs. Picture this. All the starlight, gases, and elements in the entire galaxy would be at their disposal, like items in your kitchen pantry. Now, here's where it gets mind-boggling. If they were to exploit all the matter in their galaxy for energy, an outside observer would see... nothing. Yep it'd be like there's a gaping hole in the galaxy, or perhaps if they've colonized the entire thing, it'd seem like there's simply nothing there at all. Out there in the vast expanse of space lies a remarkable place called the Great Void. Spanning a staggering 330 million light years in diameter, it's among the largest voids ever found in the universe, earning its nickname as a super void. Now here's the thing. This cosmic realm appears to be eerily empty, devoid of the bustling galaxies and signs of life we're accustomed to seeing. Considering its immense size, scientists crunch the numbers and estimate that there should be around 2,000 galaxies within the Great Void. But here's the twist. Despite the calculations, only a measly 60 galaxies have been spotted within this colossal void. That's a mere 3% of what we'd expect to find in an area this immense. Now here's the big question. Where are they? Is it possible that Type 3 civilizations are calling the shots, fully controlling a vast expanse of space like the Great Void, spanning 330 million light years and using it as a resource gold mine? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.